So dynamic and interactive NFTs are becoming more popular over the last few months as artists and engineers are looking for new ways to express themselves and push the boundaries of tech. So in this particular example, I want to show you somebody called Louis Pons. Um, so he created a beautiful uh, NFT with eyes moving around as I move my mouse. And in this video, I'll basically I'll show you how to make dynamic interactive NFTs. We're going to be using a little bit of HTML, CSS, p5.js, and we'll be deploying it actually on the Ethereum blockchain. We're going to use manifold.xyz. So actually, it's going to require very little coding. Uh, we're just going to move around a little bit of the HTML files. So let's get into it. So here again, I'm showing the NFT of Louis Pons, and we're going to recreate this interactivity a little bit. And um, yeah, my art is not definitely not going to be as beautiful or as neat as this. However, you know, for the purposes of this video, you know, it doesn't. I, need, I don't need to be Picasso. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go into p5.js. This is how we're going to generate our interactive art. And if you're new to p5.js, it's basically a JavaScript library, and you can go through examples and learn. Um, so you can click through here. Uh, however. I already have something that I created a few weeks ago. As you could see here, I'm already logged in. So I'm gonna go to my sketches and I'm gonna find something that I did about a week or two ago. Now you have a, a few files here. Uh, once you click this toggle and I can press play. And this is the artwork. So it moves in a oval shape, right? And the artwork, you know, basically the, the also the color is changing. And this is the code that, that's making all of this run. So I took some inspiration from another example that was actually on this website and I, create some, I created something that is my own. So now what we wanna do once we have our interactive art ready, um, we're gonna be using HTML, JavaScript and CSS. And we're gonna basically just download the file. So I'm going to call it test one for the name of the folder. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to put my downloads here. I'm going to make sure that it's open. And then what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to navigate. Uh, now as an engineer, I, I use the terminal, but you could also just open it in different ways. I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to CD into test one and I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code, which is an editor. So I'll take about a second and I'm in. If you're new to Visual Studio Code or you could use a different editor, but you just search for it, you download it and you'll be able to open the folder using uh, these prompts as well. But here I was using terminal and now we are looking at the files that we had from the P5.js editor. So what's next? Let's go back in there. And what we want to do is want to clean up and make sure we only have the stuff that we need and it, that it is formatted correctly. So for example, I'm not using the sound library of p5.js. So I'm going to remove that. Um, next, I'm going to remove the actual file itself as well, the p5 sound. Again, your artwork might have sound, so keep that in mind. And another thing that is very important that you do not want to have external scripts like this. So this is actually pointing to Cloudflare. If we take a look, right? We don't want our HTML file to be pointed to external scripts like this. And the way to get around that is actually uh, the editor actually downloaded our p5.js library. So we can actually just point to it by doing this dot and then forward slash p5.js. And at this point, we should be ready to upload our artwork on um, a file storage. But before we do that, we just want to make sure that the artwork works locally. And when, once I clicked on the index.html file, it will take me to the primary browser. So at this point, you could see that the image works or the art works. And then basically, as I move my mouse around, it changes the speed and the color of the oval that's rotating. So. At this point, we can upload the, the artwork online. And there's a few ways to do this. One way is to use Pinata Cloud. So a lot of tutorials, you'll see that they're using this. However, I found a new service that actually I like more. It's called NFT.storage. And in both ways, you're basically, what we're doing is we're uploading it to the permanent file storage system. And with NFT storage, it's just a little bit easier and it is free. So. What you would have to do here is basically uh, you would 
sign up with uh, the website and then you would download the NFT of application. And it's very easy. I just did it earlier um, last week. So once you have this NFT up application, what you do then is you basically we go back to our downloads and I would just drag and drop the file over. This, this would take about two to three seconds and our artwork should be online. So let's take a look. We're going to click on this URL and the artwork is ready. So now we're ready uh, to basically to create the smart contract and deploy our NFT on the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, let's do that. So the way we're going to do this is very quickly and efficiently. We're going to use something called manifold.xyz. And once you're here, this is basically a platform where they help you deploy your smart contracts, deploy your NFTs. And as you could see here, I've been misbehaving by creating a bunch of contracts just for fun. And now I will show you how to get started. So basically you would use, use you would need to log in actually with your MetaMask, I'm already logged in, but what, then you would click on create new contract. And then now we're ready to create the contract name. So I would call this Andre's Mad Art, and I'll call it ABA and yeah, you just fill us out. I would call this ABA as well. Um, and then if this is very confusing or new to you, there is more documentation to help you get started. For example, what is Gorelli? Gorelli is a test net that is basically before we deploy to mainnet to on Ethereum, we want to make sure that our smart contracts and our NFTs, they look really good. And the way we do that is we just deploy it on the, on the test net and Gorelli is the primary one right now. And another thing that you want to keep in mind is that I mentioned earlier, you want to have a MetaMask or another wallet application like this. And another thing that you want to make sure you have is a Gurley. Uh, if you don't have Gurley ETH, you go to GurleyFaucet.com. You put in your wallet here. So actually I could do this right now. I could refill myself a little bit and I'm going to send myself some ETH. And um, it might take a little bit, but eventually in 10 to 30 seconds, I would see the additional ETH in my, in my girly wallet. Now that we're back here, we're going to deploy this. And actually, <laughs> it's an interesting message that I got here is that I reached my contract limit because I've been playing around too much. But for you, if you're newer to Manifold, you would not run into this issue. What we're gonna do, we're actually, we're gonna deploy uh, my other contract. So let's do this one. And so basically uh, we're going through the same process and I would click on, I need to switch my network here first. And can I do it now? Great, so now we're gonna deploy our contract to the Gorelli testnet. So I'm gonna click confirm. This should work fine. And I will refresh my page. But yeah, so now we're deploying our contract. It should be very quick and I'll just wait a second. And voila, our contract is deployed. So uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is the contract I picked is ERC721. Now this is the standard and most popular type of smart contract for NFTs currently. And that's what you should have picked, but it was, it was basically picked by default in any case. The next step we wanna do is we wanna mint a token. So this is the fun part. We're gonna create and mint our artwork on a blockchain. So how do we do this? So even if our artwork is dynamic and interactive, we do need a still image or a GIF. In this particular case, I'm gonna actually take a screenshot of this for the purposes of this demonstration. And I'm actually gonna just dra drag it over here. And now I need to create the name of the artwork. So I'm gonna call it Andre's Bad Art. And uh, description, you, you wanna 
obviously provide a better description than, than what I'm doing, but um, this is for testing purposes only. And then the, the next step is, well, we wanna, we need to add a few more properties here. And I just wanna reference the manifold documentation. So if you go over here, um, you, you search for dynamic NFTs, and they will explain how to mint HTML pages, which is basically what we need to do if we want to create interactive dynamic art. And you scroll down here, they provide a similar example using index.html, CSS, and JavaScript. So you could use their example if, if you're just getting started as well. And as I mentioned before, you could use Pinata Cloud. I used NFT up and NFT.storage. And the next section is what where we are right now, which is basically we need to add these properties, animation URL and animation details. And these need to be hidden properties. So let's do that. So here we're gonna add this here, animation URL. And another piece of documentation that's worth reading is the metadata state metadata standards. Now OpenSea is the most popular marketplace, so uh, I'm just referencing this one. But when you upload an IPFS URI, they prefer basically an IPFS prefix. So this would help answer the question here when you have two different kinds of URLs. Well, according to OpenSea, they prefer the one with this prefix. Although I'm not entirely sure if it matters, but we'll, we'll follow the instructions. And we're gonna go back to animation URL. And then we're gonna add another hidden property for animation details. I'm just gonna copy this and we'll be on our way. So the property name is that, animation details, and the format is HTML. So it looks like we are good. I'm the artist, check all the fields, it almost, yeah, looks good. Now we can mint on Guerrero. So let's do that. I'm gonna mint it to myself. And it's gonna cost a little bit, but not a lot. And uh, we're, we're using Guerrero ETH anyway, which we got from the Guerrero faucet. So this isn't real money. And we can test all we want. Now this is gonna take a few seconds. And we minted our NFT on the test girly uh, network. So what we wanna do here is we just wanna give uh, Luxray and OpenSea a few seconds because basically if, if I click on right away, it's gonna say a 404. The reason is it just needs maybe 30 seconds or a minute to update. Um, OpenSea might work. Yeah, actually OpenSea is working. And uh, I know for a fact that Gurley will be working as well, but sometimes they do have issues when they, it takes them a while to update their met metadata. So it's typically um, each marketplace, uh, you, you wanna reach out to them if you're having issues with metadata. So we're gonna click one more time. And voila, after about a minute, we got the looks rare to show up our interesting artwork as well. So again, <laughs> don't judge me for my art. Uh, this took me about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm sure you'll come up with something a lot better than this. So now that we we are happy with our, our work on our test net, what we want to do is we actually want to deploy it to production. And this is the exciting part. So I think we have to go here. Yeah, so we basically navigate to our overview tab and now we're gonna deploy it on the mainnet. So this is, now you're gonna use real ETH, you're gonna use real money, so just make sure you're, you're completely satisfied. Um, the fees are still affordable. We're gonna see what the price is right now. It's about $16. Um, if during low traffic, you might get it as low as five um, or an ETH equivalent. But for our purposes, this works. We're gonna click confirm. And, and now we're deploying a contract. So at this point, you may need to wait five to 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll be right back. And voila, we deployed our contract to the mainnet. 
So we have one more step at this point and let's go back to the dashboard and we as you could see here, they're very good at providing what the next steps are. You can either navigate to, to, towards the token section or mint a token mainnet. So now we click on our NFT and we're gonna mint it to mainnet. So let's do that. And in fact, there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes here. Manifold is basically deploying the contract for us. And for the sake of brevity of this video, I'm not going over everything. Uh, but yeah, it's just amazing that um, it, it's a very seamless process. If you do have any questions, you can leave a comment in the, in the video and I'll get back to you uh, with a response. And we just deployed our NFT. So we're pretty much done. We just want to make sure that it works on the different preview links. And again, it might take them a few minutes to be updated. Sometimes it actually takes a lot longer than a few minutes. So as you can see here, we'll click on them and they're not ready yet. So we're gonna give this another try. And I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna return in a few minutes when these are ready. And about after three minutes, we're able to see our links on OpenSea, excuse me, our NFT on OpenSea. And as you can see here, it's dynamic and is on the actual ETH blockchain. So basically I have it in my wallet, but it could also, I could put it on sale or an auction and I think we're done at this point. So to summarize what we did here, we basically created our artwork on p5.js using some HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We then uploaded our file on an, using nft.storage on IPFS. And lastly, what we did is we basically deployed our contract and our NFT using manifold.xyz. So this all took about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, there's very little coding involved and uh, not that much. We probably spent about $15 total. So very affordable. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, have a good day. See ya.